everyone welcome once again to yet again another video and in this video we're going to be testing the endpoints that we created and but before we actually go straight into the video so into the testing of the endpoints a couple of things i just want us to pinpoint a couple of certain mistakes i made and when i tested the endpoints i actually noticed these mistakes and I'd like us to you know correct them so the first of them is this mime content type the value that is being passed in the mime content type it's supposed to be the base 64 image that contains the data url and not the file got um, file get contents of the base 64 image all right and as you can see make sure to pass the base 64 image here you can see my comments mistake and um then for the next mistake is that we are supposed to use the id and not the user user id like like the way we use uh, if you've been following this video and you check your code you're going to see something like this all right it's not supposed to be this it's supposed to be user id all right so because we are targeting the user model and not the user id model and if I go to the create user table, we can see there's an ID. If I go to the create contacts table, we can see that the user ID and actually we are targeting the user table. So it should be the ID, uh, not this. We don't have this field in the create in our um, user table. Okay. And the next mistake also is here. And we will need to change the same thing to here to be 64 and pass that to the mime content type too and also we also need to um this particular else the curly brace was ending right here was ending at the end of the application so we just need to move that curly brace from the end of the application down here to get the scope back in place and the reason for that is that um if profile picture is not that means if the user has no profile image we want to go straight into updating the user account and if we actually put that here, it's not going to update when there's no profile image. And that's not what we want. We want it to be able to update when, when there's no profile image and when there's a profile image. And um, delete contact, deleting contact endpoint. And I think that is just about that. All right. So having showed you guys all the mistakes that we made in the last video, I'd like you to correct all that. I noticed these errors when I was testing the endpoint, the API. So now let's just head straight into Postman and begin our testing. So I was actually playing around with this. So now this is add contact. So if we add contact, let's log in. So to log in, just so it's gonna generate a JWT token for us. So let's copy this token. And um, let's now just go to add contact and right in the header, we are going to override this token with a new token. So I'm gonna paste that here. And in the body, because this token must have expired. So let's just skip that, paste this here. Okay, so now let's click on send and yep. This contact saved successfully. And um, who is this contact? We have Eric Cantona. I think I've saved this user before. Let's check out DB. And yep, you can see another Eric Cantona. So let me just get rid of this one. Uh, let me actually save another contact. So let's do Eric. Um, Oh, let's do Bondela and let's change the email to Bondela gmail.com and now click on send yep contact save successfully I know we could actually do some further checks like say check if uh, this phone number already exists or check if email already exists all right well that's not so necessary you can do that on your own if you please so Bondela at gmail.com you can see the default avatar the PNG is what gets saved to the database because we added no image so now let's um, add an image. So let's go to base 64, 64 image encoder. Let's, let's just check that in. So we want to add a new user with an image. So click here and now let me select an image. Kakashi, how large is this? 747 KB smoke. Oh my God, that image is too large. So let's go with this one now we'll click on okay should upload this image first uh booyakasha so it's actually encoding this to be 64 for us and yep it's done so let's show the code and um i want to copy this somehow let's, let's select all right select all copy to clipboard Minimize that and let's get back to here. 
okay so let's add another thing and call this profile imagine this is the basic of encoder stream um let me just be sure that that's what that's the field that we called it so let's head down here let me see about add contact scroll up and we call that profile on this okay profile underscore image so yep and our headers are set our body is set so let's just click on send and it says contact has been saved successfully now let's head straight to our database and you can see bondela another new bondela bondela gmail will come with the same number that has an image so if we copy this image let's just copy that head back to our application and just search for this image yep here we have the image all right so we are sure now that the adding of contacts works just perfectly let's go straight into get paginated data which is the second which is the read part of the crude and for get paginated data uh let's go up get paginated data so get paginated data has an endpoint of say get all so we're going to pass token and pagination so now let's just head straight here and i call this get all contacts and here here we are so what we're going to do is we are going to get back to add contact we're going to copy this token and um, i just wanted to show something if i uncheck this and i send this you can see it shows us contact saved um successfully and the reason why it shows contact saved successfully is because let me go to the contact controller is because we manually authenticated for the token here okay we manually authenticated for the token here if i let's see now if i went straight to the body and let me just scroll right to the top and then see i remove this token field right let's remove that and now let's go to the header and i've unchecked that now if i click on send watch what happens you can see it's going to tell us route not defined instead of telling us token um token is not uh, missing or something in the field is telling us that route login is not defined and um, we're also going to fix this html page instead of returning html page like this it should return a full one json response we're also going to fix that in this video so um, whenever you authenticate the token in the body or in the url um it um, even without the token set in the headers the authentication still goes through all right so and um, that is that for adding a contact uh let's go to edit the contact and for editing the contact let's choose contact number let's choose one of our contacts here so we have contact number 11 so let's just pass that here as number 11 and want to override that with saitama and blah, blah 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 now once i click on save it tells me contact updated successfully and that's because we have the token here and this token is actually valid because it's not been long i just finished testing this api so um it tells us contact has been updated successfully and why is it returning this file let's get in here browse that and yep you can see that that image has been removed and what i want to do now is it's not supposed to be returning the file so let's go to add contacts let's go to get paginated let's go to Oh, edit contact. Actually, we're supposed to get paginated and I was doing edit contact. So let's just remove something. Oh, I was actually debugging this and then I left this behind. So now let's just get rid of this and um, come back here again. Click on send and contacts updated successfully. Okay, so and it, one other thing again is it also deletes that image from the folder. So let's just go to get all contacts and um, forget all contacts. If I click on send, to tell us not defined because either the token that we passed in the url is invalid and the body is invalid or the token on the header is invalid so what we can do now is let's get rid of this and just get oh, copy this all right guys and now let's just get back to 
get all contacts and now let's pass that in here and um let me be sure that that is so for the endpoint of get all contacts we need the token and then we need pagination to say how many pages we want to show even though that's optional because of the question mark at the front so now let's just head back and if i click on send it returns for me all the contacts associated with this user if i decided to say hey i want to show two two per page and i click on send it's going to show just two two contents and then show us the pagination you can see first page url uh last page url if i click on first page url oh sorry <laughs> nothing works all right but that's just it basically it sends us the pagination url and paginates the data so now get single contact we also need okay okay we just need it this way yeah because in the endpoint all we just are passing is just the id but that means if you are passing just the id we would need to pass the token in the headers so let's just get back here uh, right here if i uncheck this and i click on send it's gonna tell me authorization route logging we're also gonna fix this route logging you know, to show us a predefined custom message so let me get rid of this paste this in here click on send and yep we have this single user or this single contact and the next is search contact which i think is the last of them all and search contact if we head back to the endpoint you can see it takes the search parameter takes so contact slash search, the search parameter the token and how many we want to display per page and if i come here you're gonna see the search parameter which is frank the token and pagination is also optional here too how many want to display per page is optional but let's just pass it and say we want to display two if i click on that tell me route login not defined because we failed to call authorization mm, no because this we're passing the token still and we also did authenticate the token we manually did our authentication and that bypassed the headers did we yes so if we manually did that then uh that means what actually cost this is this token is expired so let's get rid of this let's come back to the login get fresh token uh copy this get straight into search contact and paste this right here and now when i click on send yep you can see it fetches the data for us okay guys so having tested all the endpoints i said we we're going to fix a problem which was the login that html page we wanted to show a 401 error so let's head straight and fix that problem and to fix this we have to head to um exception English handler right yep and here this is actually what renders uh, this this render it renders the html page or the error message so we don't need that instead what we want to render we're going to write this function it's public function render all right and what we want to render is so let me copy this instead of typing them i want to return a json response so a function not function function and we want to return the json response here and that json response is going to be a 401 response right that is going to tell the user very simple it's going to say unauthenticated so response json all right and the status is going to be your status is going to be of course 401 and then the message is going to be on on sorry unauthenticated unauthenticated okay so now this should fix that so if i head back to postman get single data now if i uncheck this and i click on send tells you 401 authenticated no longer html message and i also noticed we didn't test for delete contact so for delete contact the endpoint is let's just go to api.php and um, the endpoint for delete is delete slash the id so we need to pass the token so let's just do author 
polarization bearer and we want to pass the token uh, let me just go to login and generate a new token and let me just copy this right here and now if I go to the, no, 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 no. delete contacts so let's pass that here and if I click on send uh, no not register sorry it's supposed to be user slash contact slash delete slash the ID so user contact slash delete slash the ID so let's delete user number nine click on send and yep contact deleted successfully and if we click this we're not going to see user number nine again all right so that's just about that and there's one more thing we are going to do before i end this video which is we are going to go to jwt.php to the config file and um, actually what i want to do is for the purpose of this tutorial i wouldn't advise this either unless maybe say you're building something where you never want the user token to expire until the user decides to log out you can then set that so somewhere in the ttl right here um, which is time to leave um you can see the time set i don't know whether it's 60 minutes or 60 seconds but then if i set this to null it will mean that the token will never expire if i set this to whatever number it will mean that it's going to stay for as long as that okay so specify the length of time in minutes okay so it's 60 minutes so now um what i want to do for the purpose of this video is i want to set this to null so that token never expires and that way we don't have to start going back and forth to our application you know to log in and all that and um, in order for this to work we would also have to um comment this expiration out to so the required claims can match with what we have set okay so that is just about that in the next video we are going to um head straight into writing the login aspect of our react application